For the 36th problem on this first ACT practice test, which of the following is the graph of the region 1 is less than x plus y, which is less than 2, in the standard xy coordinate plane? So to solve this type of problem, let's first rewrite this inequality here. We have that 1 is less than x plus y, which is less than 2. And since we're dealing with graphs, it's usually fairly useful to just solve for y and see what your equation looks like. So in this case, I'll have to subtract x from all three parts of this inequality. So rewriting this, I'll write the minus x first in each of these. So I'll have minus x plus 1, which is less than y, since x minus x, these cancel out. And then this is less than minus x plus 2. So let's look at each part of this individually. So let's first just look at this minus x plus 1 is less than y. Or in other words, y is greater than minus x plus 1. So notice this is very similar to an equation written in the style y is equal to mx plus b, which if you're unfamiliar with this, recall that m is equal to the slope and b is just the y-intercept. And the reason that people often write equations of lines in this format is because it's easiest to immediately graph it. Now, the only difference between an equation like this and an inequality like this is that they'll still be graphed similarly, but since we have this inequality, we're really talking about all y values above this line. And since it's not greater than or equal to, the line will just be dashed rather than solid. So let's first figure out how this graph would look by first making some coordinate axes and just getting a picture of how this might turn out. So first I'll put in a couple marks. We can assume that each mark is just one apart from the next. So first we can use the y-intercept or b, which is just positive one in this case, to put our first point on the graph. So positive one is the y-intercept, so we look for our y-axis here and we find positive one and we can plot a point there. And next we'll use the slope which is this negative one here. So our m is negative one, or we could write it as minus one over one. And the reason I did this is because slope is usually thought of as a fraction, where it's the amount that you go up divided by the amount that you go over. Or in other words, it's the rise divided by the run. So essentially we're going to rise negative one and go over one to the right. Or in other words, we go down one and then over one to the right. So here will be our next point. And then, like I said, because this is an inequality and it's not greater than or equal to, this line will be a dashed line. So we can put our dashes in here. And since y is always greater than this line here, Essentially, we would fill in this entire region above the line. So this is all just for essentially the, the bottom part of our inequality. So next, we use this same graph here, but let's look at this top part, essentially. Or in other words, the part that says y is always less than minus x plus 2. So let's use a little bit more space. And we can write that y is less than minus x plus 2. And again, using the idea of this y is equal to mx plus b, we know our y-intercept is positive 2 here. So if we go find our y-axis and we plot a point at positive 2, we'll have a point there. And then we again have a slope of negative 1 right here. So that means essentially from every point on the line we'll go down one and over one. So here will be another point 
And for this, all of our y values are below this line minus x plus 2. So when we draw in our dashed line, which will look something like this, now we're talking about all values less than that line. But with this inequality, we have to combine both ideas. So with this bottom line, it was all values above it. And with this top line, it's all values below it. So what we end up with is all values in this little strip here. And so this graph right here is the graph we're looking for in our answer choices. And since only two of these slope in the negative direction, like this, then we immediately know that none of these is right. And the next part is just noticing that this bottom line here on this bottom one, k, goes through the uh, y value of negative 1 down here. But our y value, our lowest one on the y-axis, is this positive 1. And then it, the top line also goes through positive 2. And notice that choice j here goes through positive 1 and positive 2. So this is the only possible choice, choice letter j here. And that is our final answer.